Hi, this is Alistair from radiospares.co.cc. Today I'm showing you a um, 898D rework and soldering station. Uh, I've just opened this one up and just quickly run through what's inside the box. You've got your rework station, soldering iron, and these little beasties are the ones that go on the rework station, different size nozzles, three of those, a tool for putting the nozzle on and removing it, three spare soldering iron tips, some soldering paste, a spare soldering iron element, and a spare rework station element. These things are imported, so it's really good to have those sort of spare parts as an accessory, in, but included with the kit. And this tool here looks a bit strange, but that's to remove IC. So you just take it out of its packet and screw the short end onto the end. And the two prongs go underneath an IC, which you heat up with the rework station. And it drops it out. The manual is a fairly well written Chinese and also English. Um, it tells you all the operations and also how to replace the parts uh, if they do get faulty. I really like the operation, especially the safety and accuracy aspect of this unit. Um, when you dock the rework unit, um, oh, for example, I'll remove it. Once it's removed, it's got a sensor inside here, um, and as you see, the temperature's flicking up. And that, that's gone up now to its operating temperature. There is a bit of latency in the tip area. It takes about 30 seconds before the full heat comes out of it. And um, so when you've finished, say for example you're doing a board, you, um, you've reached your temperature and you just move across the board and um, do the operations. When you've finished, um, drop it back on the dock and that switches the power off the heater, which is internal to here. Um, the fan keeps blowing through the cable and it keeps on working until the temperature drops down to a safe level. So the, the air throughput is kept up until it's safe. So it's got a sensor here which tells it that the soldering iron is a surprisingly high quality, um, very fine tip. And um, a good test of a soldering iron to me is if it can work on very old copper boards. And this one does the job perfectly well. In fact, um, I haven't found any, haven't used another soldering iron station that um, will heat up an old board and solder as nicely as this one. Sure, I'm trying to promote it, but it, it is. It's, it's jolly good quality. So what I'll do now is uh, get my wife to um, take the operation of, of me using the rework station on this old board and uh, I can show you how the thing operates. Okay, instead of my wife, my daughter's taking this. Now, I'll just show you how well this soldering iron works on really, really bad uh, board. Uh, okay. Are you close in, Oriel? Now that, that, that's, um, that's taken that joint really, really well, and it just it, it just really makes the solder flow well, this tip. I don't know what they use on it, but it, if I use my other iron, it, it would go all blobby, and the temperature is very well regulated, as over here, Oriel, on the um, digital, and you can change, of course, change the temperature to the air. Now I'm going to go onto the rework station. So when I pick that up, away from the unit, it sensed that I've picked it up and the temperature will climb up to 300 degrees to its operating level and uh, it, it's got a bit of latency like I said in the tip but um, you can solder suck forever in a day with this thing and um, it just operates really easily once it's reached its temperature so try and keep any leads away from it otherwise you'll melt them soldering iron leads and so on. There's, you can vary the temperature over here, Oriel. Vary, vary the speed of the um, 
it throughput by changing that there so that you might be able to hear the fan speeding up or slowing down. So in this case I'll have it slow, I bring the tip over here and pop it on near, near the area you desoldering. It's so much easier than using a soldering iron. It's quick as a wink. Oops, missed that one. I'll turn the air up a bit and that'll make sure the joints there. Yeah, that's that's my problem there. I wasn't I had the airflow going through it way too slow. Ah now we're cooking with gas. Solder suck is full of solder. Turn up a bit more. A bit of a knack to using this thing, it's the first time I've used it, but once you've got it. Right. So that's, in a nutshell, I've been using it for um, five minutes. And when I put it back on the cradle, it um, just automatically closes down, keeps the, keeps the fan going until it's uh, reached a safe temperature.